And there's big bins, little bins. Bins who climb on rocks. Fat bins, skinny <laughs> bins. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Home on the Hitch. Glad to have you here. Stick around with us today. We're going to talk about how you can make your RV feel more like home. So, Mr. Chicken, what do you think about being spoon fed? Hey, come back. So why make your RV, why would you want to make your RV homey? Well, it really applies to whether you're part-time, weekend campers, uh, full-time like we are, uh, that it's important that you do what you can to make your RV feel like home. Right, because you want to create a comfortable space and some place that you enjoy being when you're That's in right. It. So if you're just camping on the weekends, you're going to really want uh, a comfortable place to come uh, when you're done doing whatever you're doing, uh, and that's going to make the whole RV experience uh, a lot better. Uh, vice versa, if you're living in it, you definitely want uh, somewhere that feels like home. That's what we're going to talk about today and the ways maybe that we've made our RV more homey uh, and some ways that you can too. If you've got any suggestions that we miss or anything that you'd like to point out, make sure you leave, leave it, in, it the in the comments below. So I think first up is going to be your furniture. Uh, now, some of that is in place. A lot of that's in place when you buy your RV, and that's part of what draws you to it. You go in, you're like, oh, I love this. This is cool. But that's not your home. You, you like the, you know, the basic outline that you have in, in front of you. Uh, but I think what you do with that afterwards um, can, can go a long way to making it more your home. Right. Uh, the... Aesthetics of the RV are not necessarily to your liking usually yeah. when you get them, but that's okay. There's no perfect um, RV. No, there is not. And there's no such thing as perfect furniture nope. either because you have to consider things such as weight, mm -hmm. um, space. Is it going to fit? Uh, also, your, your furniture has to be functional for you. Yep. So for us, like, for example, uh, when we got our RV, ours is a rear living, uh, so that's a pretty standard floor plan. Uh, we didn't like the uh, way that it was set up with the couch at the, at the end, and the couch was uncomfortable, so we pulled that out, and we put this bar, this high-top bar, uh, office, desk space uh, in the rear of the RV. We've had that in there for a couple of years now. Uh, and it seems to work out very well for us. So that's one thing that we did to modify, uh, give us a little bit of a quote unquote office space and an area for uh, Melissa to do some arts and crafts. And right, and it's a very flexible space. With the high top bar, we're able to inflate a queen size mattress and put it here in the living room and there's still plenty of space. Um, we can use it for extra eating for work, yep. for entertaining. So it's just a, a multi, really nice multi-use. Multi multi so past uh, furniture is going to be decor, personal touches, uh, such as, I don't know, anybody that really, well, there are a few uh, that have really nice shades um, that come with the RVs uh, that people keep, I think. But I don't think anybody's really super happy with, like, balances and stuff that comes uh, to the RVs, so that's quick to go, I think. Right, window treatments are usually the first thing, first thing to hit the road. Yeah. We, we made curtains to help with privacy and to make our space feel more our own. Right, so Mel made all the curtains uh, in the RV. We got them there, all the way in the back there. And it's just a little bit of a touch uh, that makes her feel like this space is hers. So yeah. that's really important. 
It's usually one of the first things that people comment to on when they come into our camper. And we're still making decor changes. Even two or three years in, a lot of people paint the cabinets, uh, paint the walls, do all kind of different stuff like that and do completely uh, like makeovers of their entire RV. Uh, we're going to do some stuff. Mel has pulled the wallpaper off of the interior of this slide uh, over to that wall over there. And we're going to paint that wall uh, some type of accent color. I'm not really sure, but artwork, paint, all those things can lighten up your space and make it feel more. Right. Like so home. we also include photos, pictures of our travels and family and friends, and we post those all around our camper to uh, make it feel more like home and to comfort us. Absolutely. So every time you walk down the hall or every time we go into the bedroom, we can look and see memories of all the things that we've done and all the places that we've been. And I absolutely, it's probably my favorite feature of what we've done inside the RV are the picture walls. And I just love them because it lets me know, you know, it reminds me of what we're doing and why we're doing it. And what we love. Yep. Go mail. So one of the essential things for keeping your environment comfortable is organization. So you want to use bins and containers and things like that and create organized storage spaces to help contain your items so that it is a comfortable space. Absolutely, because clutter adds up fast in an RV and clutter will make an uncomfortable space. I don't care who you are. Under the bed storage uh, is a big one. Yeah, you can uh, use little bins. You can also use uh, under the bed containers in your closet area yep. to help utilize space. So small storage bins are essential not only in keeping your main area organized, but also in organizing su things such as your clothes, yeah. um, your food, uh, your cabinets. Yep. I also use it to organize my art equipment. Yep. Bins are super important. <laughs> and there's big bins, little bins. Bins who climb on rocks. Fat bins, skinny bins. <laughs> So bonus tip for under the bed storage, if you've got a, a residential mattress, so a lot of storage under there, but it can get pretty heavy. I took some uh, powered actuator arms and replaced the shocks underneath. Uh, so Mel can push a button and raise up the bed. That way it is not like super inconvenient for her to get to the storage. So she's able to freely use the storage when she wants to. So making it easy to get in and out of is just as important as having it. So any questions about that, put it down in the comments. I'll tell you how I did it. If you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. So when it comes to making your rig feel like home, there's a lot of ways to do it and we're talking about them, but all rigs are not created equal. Some are bigger than others. You have travel trailers like ours. Uh, you have great big fifth wheels, huge toy haulers, uh, but you also have truck campers. So we are going to get to talk to these folks who just rolled in uh, and see how they're making their smaller space feel more like home. So they're going to be gracious enough to give us a little tour. Okay, what's up? This is our Cirrus. It's built by New Camp. Yeah. This is a two 2016 800 model. Love it. So this was the first model that Cirrus ever built. Right. Truck camper. So, so anybody that's watched our channel knows that I love truck campers and we look at them everywhere I go. So yeah. it's really exciting. This week's video, we're talking about trying to make our space feel more comfortable, more like home. Uh, so you guys are probably having to do it in a little bit less space than most. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty interesting though. Uh, it's, a, it's a good point of view. But it's easy to drive and we can park it in a parking place. Perfect. Let's take that's a look. That's why we love it. Let's go. So, you want to come okay, in? Come, come and show in. us around. So we have a, a great little chef's kitchen mm -hmm. here, two burner stove, great functioning sink, good closet for coats. This space doubles as our dining, living, office space. At night, we can convert it to a movie theater. Right. Or our bed. It awesome. can also be Very the guest nice. room. And three of us have traveled cross country in this. So really? It. Yeah. Very nice. We have plenty of storage. All these cabinets, you can see, they're not totally full. Right. And um, pots and pans down here. Uh, there's a little storage under the space, but not much. King-size bed. We love the bed. 
great skylight over our heads. I really do like that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. We can get nice breezes and we can see the stars at night. Sears does a really good job, uh, just like other, like some of the other companies like Airstream uh, with mm -hmm. the cabinetry yeah. and everything. The cabinets are very nice and very solid and They're, like yeah. aviation quality kind of standard. So. Yeah. We really... Um, we really lucked into this. Mm. We were lo really looking for a pull behind. Really? And then we saw this. We didn't even have a truck. <laughs> and so we bought this. Then we had to find a truck uh, to haul it. Right. So, um, so it's worked out great. We've had it five years. It's been across country twice. Yeah. This, this time we're going for a longer period of time. Perfect. And so everything in the back seat of the truck, we've got two e-bikes and two boats and all the gear and everything else we need in here and we're already starting to get rid of stuff so this is right don't need. amen amen so this is a home i mean this and, is home. but you've obviously turned it into to home for you guys so. yes very, very uh, comfortable and it, it takes a little bit of time i think but uh, once you're in a space whether it be smaller like this bigger like some of the momentum toy haulers uh that you can really turn 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 just about any space into home well, and you, you find out how, that you really don't need that much. That you? is the biggest thing. <laughs> you need giant upgrades? That you, so you've had it for a while, five years. We have. Yeah. And we've had a couple things. The refrigerator and uh, we had to replace. Okay. And it was a propane run. For so just now it's 12 volt. It's 12 volt. Mm, yes. It's off our solar. Love that. We had to put new new solar in. Mm -hmm. You know, it was six six years old. Yeah. So the, the panels had degraded. We just added two AGM batteries. Very nice. Um, You know, there have been, there've been little things. The, the, one of the great things about this camper, have you, do you know what an Aldi heater is? Yes. It yes. has an Aldi system. It has the Aldi system in it. it so does. it's currently running with the hot water and the heat and the, everything. Hot water and heat, radiant heat, mm -hmm. so there's no blower at night or that. anything like that. So we love that. And it really can cook you out of this out of this space. Amazing. The bathroom. See, that's, that's so our biggest. You have to have a bathroom. Well, you have to have a bathroom. Yeah. That's... For some people, I think, and it's actually a really big bathroom. Works, works perfect for us. Where are you guys going next? You know what? We, um, we are headed to Carlsbad yeah. Caverns next. And so we're headed into New Mexico. Roswell, we want to see the UFO Museum. Find the Roswell, aliens. And then we're headed to California to Yosemite. Beautiful. And you guys are going to volunteer there, right? Yes. Yep. I'm going to have to look into that. They're going to Y'all are going to host at the volunteer campground so they're going to host at the campground that is the campground for the volunteers for the park correct that's a pretty amazing thing i might have to look into that one. Correct. thank you guys you're welcome thank you you can also create a homey environment by including such things as scented candles accent lighting flowers um blankets blankets comforters oh and all the girls favorite throw pillows can never have enough pillows nope a big part of your home is a functional kitchen. Oh, so if you don't have a functional kitchen, surely it's not going to be a comfortable place to live. So it's definitely not going to feel homey if you're not able to cook a meal comfortably in your home. Now, it's not the same as a residential kitchen, so it does take some adjustment, but that doesn't mean that you can't do all of the same things in your RV kitchen that you do at home. So make sure you're choosing, I think, appliances uh, that are multifunctional, if you can, uh, such as a convection microwave that's a microwave and a convection oven. Right. Um, the more dual purpose that something has, the more uh, the more apt you are to Which use Which is something it. we don't have, really, at this point. We did, though, uh, recently get that air fryer over there. Yeah. Uh, and that's been a big one for us. Uh, we've been able to do a lot of stuff with that. Right, all, we, all in one device, you know? Yes. I do a lot of stuff in air fryer. You can really air fry the crap out of some stuff. <laughs> So good night's sleep is super important in your RV. Uh, so uh, another way to make your RV a home is to work on the bedroom and work on creating a super comfy space in there. So you can do that by having throw pillows. <laughs> throw <laughs> pillows! <laughs> and um, a very ni a nice comforter. Wow. You want to have good bedding. Um, you can put mood lighting in your room. Mm -hmm. We also have some battery operated right. lights. You can see those lights uh, hanging up behind us. What we do at nighttime is we shut everything off and we have those up there. Uh, so it's easy on the eyes. We can kind of watch TV or, or 
play on the phones or whatever we're doing. It just helps us adjust mm -hmm. to get ready to go to sleep. To get ready to go to sleep. So uh, that's a great thing to put in there. One of the biggest tips I think we could probably give you is to change your mattress. Absolutely. Yeah. You need to put some type. We're not affiliated with any mattress company. No. We put a king size residential mattress uh, in our RV uh, very soon after getting it, even though we bought an upgraded RV pillow top mattress uh, when we bought the I, RV. And we added extra foam mm -hmm. layers to the top of it. But it, it just still does enough. not compare to uh, having a full size thick residential comfy mattress. So so that's the first upgrade uh, I would tell anybody to do really uh, comfort wise. Uh, to make your RV yeah, feel like a home. Is to change the mattress because without a good night's sleep, it's hard for anything else to go like good or go right because I don't function very well without sleep. No. no. Another thing that you can do to make your RV feel like home, uh, if you have the space for it, and there are, are a lot of different options, is to add a washer and dryer. Uh, we have a small apartment washer and dryer in our rig, and it has been one of the best upgrades that we have uh, done, I think. So the washer and dryer really makes things uh, in the RV feel a lot more like home uh, and less like, like a camper. Yeah, like a camper. So so I think that there's a lot of things that you can do uh, to change your space around and make your RV more comfortable and more like your home. I think it's very important to do. Uh, it just depends on your style and your taste and how far you want to go with it. Absolutely. So don't be afraid to, to try something new. Absolutely. If you don't like it, you can always change it. So those are the things that we've kind of done in our RV uh, to change things around a little bit, make it more homey. It's worked for us. We've been full time for a year now. So I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that we've missed or we haven't covered. Go ahead. If you've got ideas of what we could do or what you have done uh, to change things around in your RV, then go ahead and put that stuff in the comments. Uh, click thumbs up, subscribe if you have not. We would really appreciate that. That's going to do it for this one, guys. So until next time. Take care of each other. Love each other. And make every moment count. We'll see you next time, guys.